Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure SQLite 3 on Windows 11 operating system. The process is same for all Windows operating systems. Go to SQLite official website that is sqlite.org. See here, SQLite is a C language library that implements small, fast, self-contained, high reliability, full-featured SQL database engine. SQLite is most used database engine in the world. SQLite is built into all mobile phones and most computers and comes bundled inside countless other applications that people use every day. See, the latest release is, this is the latest release. So, click on download or just go to this download tab. Go scroll down. See here we have the pre-compiled binaries for Windows. So based on your operating system, you have to select 32-bit DLL or 64 minus 64-bit. So don't select these two. Select only this SQLite. See we have to download this a bundle of command line tools for managing SQLite database files, including command line shell program and other tools okay so download this sql tools in x64 zip file click on it see download has been started and it is complete go to downloads just click on it full download history go to download directory right click on it extract all if you don't have in error 7 zip or any open source software Download and install it. Okay. Extract all. Select the path. I am going with the current directory. Extract. See. Files are extracted. Go to. See. Here we have SQLite3.exe file. Okay. So, go to downloads. Copy this path. Go to C drive. Paste it. Rename it to SQLite 3 and hit enter. Now we have to set the environment variables. Without setting environment variables also we can come to SQLite 3. But every time we have to come to this path and we have to click on this SQLite3.exe file. So it is recommended or good practice to set up the environment variable for this SQLite 3. Okay. Copy this path. Right click on the this machine or your mission name. Go to properties. Then advanced system settings. Then environment variables. Then in system variables. Select the path. Then click on edit. Then click on new. Then paste this path. That is this one. Okay. Then click on OK. Click on OK. Click on OK. The other way to open environment variables is start. Then search for environment see here we have the edit the system environment variables click on it then click on environment variables go to system variables then select the path click on edit see at the end we have already if you don't have just click on new then paste it okay cancel cancel because i have already set follow this one also now open command prompt cmd then see simply we can connect sqlite 3 hit enter see we have connected to sqlite 3 and its version is 3.4 45.1 and see here connected to transient in memory database because we haven't connected to any database let me verify the database see we don't have any database see here in quotations null nothing is there means we haven't connected to any database okay so let me close this one to quit we have to give the dot q we have exited from the sqlite 3 so to connect to database it is recommended the following practice okay go to c drive let me create a directory new folder then give the sqlite 
three babies and hit enter. Go to this part. Copy this part. CD. Hit enter. Now SQL light three. Suppose if I want to create database autoscus, give this like autoscus dot tb and hit enter. See before we got like connected to a transient in memory database, but here we have not received that because we have connected to this autoscus database. Let me verify again dot databases. Hit enter. See this is the database name. Here also we have received or we created a file with the name autoscus.db. Let me create a table in this database. Before that, verify the list of the tables. Dot tables. See, we don't have any tables. We want to get the help. Just give dot help. See, these are the commands that we can run. See, these are the SQLite three options. As I told you, we have seen three examples of this one. One is dot tables and dot q where it is. yeah dot q r quit it is used to stop the interpreting input stream exit if primary okay another one is databases where it is c database okay so let me create a table in this database create table student then provide the column name and data type. S number int primary key. S name where can. And giving 50. Put the semicolon at the end of the statement and hit enter. It has created a table. Let me verify. Not tables. See, we have one table. Let me create another table. Create table staff. Step ID, SID, and primary key. Staff name, ST name, same where care, 50. Put semicolon and after every SQL statement and hit enter. Can verify tables. See, we have two tables. Now, Insert some data into this table. Then we will see insert into table name is student values 100 because student number is of the data type integer. So I have given 100 James because I have given quotes because it is type of character so i have given the enter one row is inserted use of arrow now if you try with the same arrow command it will throw error because the student number we defined as primary key let me try see we got the runtime error in a constant field so we have to give different one if you give one not one it will take hit enter it is success. Let me verify the list of the values in this table. Select star from student. See, we have two rows in this one. The same way we can insert data in this staff table also. Okay. Again, if you want to create one more database, quit from this one. Just give dot quit or dot q. Both are same. See, we left from the SQLite shell on CLS to clear the screen. As I told you to create another database, give SQLite 3, then HR is the database name, give dot db and hit enter. See, we have connected to hrdb. Let me refresh here. Still it is not showing. Why? Because go to dot databases. See, one is there. See, when we enter this dot databases, it has created a database, but its size is zero. Even if you exit dot quit, still it will be there. See, it is not going to change. 
if you want to connect to the same master schools and verify the data give it dot tables see we have two tables again verify the data so let's start from student put semicolon at the end of the statement see we have the data and one more i want to show you if you want to see the definition of this student table see we have created a table by using this syntax okay so in this video we have seen how to download install and configure sql light 3 on windows 11 operating system for more sql light 3 videos please subscribe my channel thank you